Hi guys, this is Lonnie from Mountain Spring Homestead. Today we have a couple of rabbits that we need to butcher and we're gonna take you along and show you how we do it. Uh, first off is the knives we use. We use a razor blade knife by Outdoor Edge. And what I like about these is you never have to worry about if they're sharp enough because you come out here, you take the old blade out, you grab a brand new blade from the factory and you put it in just like that and it's done, ready to go, and it's razor sharp. The other knife we use is just actually a fishing fillet knife, and you'll see how we use this once we start processing. So I like to use a bowl of warm water here for your knives to rest in when you're not using them. It keeps them clean, and you're gonna be dealing with fur and hair and everything, and it makes it easy to wash them off. Okay, so another thing you're gonna need is two containers, clean containers, one for cool water and one for ice water. So on the rabbit, you wanna stun them first before you hang them and slit their juggler. So what you do is you have some sort of stick, bar, whatever you wanna use, and you stun them right in front of the ears right here. So you hit them here moderately hard and it knocks them out. Once he's stunned, put them up in here. I usually only put one leg through. That way I can quickly get to its neck. So after all that, you want to come back to your rabbit and you want to go with the fur. You want to cut with the fur just up the side of the leg like this. And what you're doing is you're trying to get the skin loose away from the meat, just like that. And then what you'll do is you'll cut around the leg, just light cuts, you don't wanna cut into the meat. And if you have a sharp knife, it's very easy to cut into the meat. And then as you're doing it, you'll just pull down and cut a little bit of the skin. And you pull and the skin should separate from the meat, just like that. So you're gonna come over here on this leg and you're gonna do exactly the same thing. Just a nice little easy cut up the side Pull it apart, and then you'll cut around the sides of the leg here. Just real lightly. You don't want to cut into the meat. This is definitely a part you want to take your time. So once that's done, you pull down, and you can see how the hide pulls away from the meat. Make sure you cut it all the way around. And if you did it just right, the hide should pull away like that. And then what you wanna do is you wanna pull the skin away from the back like this with your fingers. Just kinda work it loose on both sides. And as you do that, you get your hand in here like this and you grab the back of the tail and here, this is where this knife comes in handy. You stick your knife all the way through to the other side like this. And then you'll pull back on the tail and you just cut up. And what that does is that cuts it away from the actual meat itself. And you can see I got a little bit of the meat in there. It's kind of easy to do. And then all you have to do, you come around this side and if you grab onto this skin here, or this hide, if you just pull down, the hide's gonna separate itself from the skin. And you just pull like this, and that's how easy it should come down. So after you're to this point, after it's past the elbows, stick your thumb through like this, keep pulling the skin until it's at the bottom knuckle right there, and then you want to cut the tendon on the back. Don't cut the bone, just cut the tendons that are around the arm here. And if you do it right, you should be able to pull it to the one side or the other, and it should dislocate. And after it dislocates, you can come back in with your knife and just cut straight through it. And it should pull apart just like that. And you do the same on this side. Cut around again, you're just trying to hit the tendons.
pulled apart. Come back in with my knife. I'm not cutting bone here. Just finishing up the tendon and then pulling apart. And then you can grab all the skin here and you can see the neck right here. And this is where you come in with your bigger knife and you can come in and just take the head off. Just like that. So this is how you do this part. This is a male, so you just want to come in here and cut that off. And then what's really important, you don't want to hit the guts. As you can see, most of them are kind of down here because the rabbit's upside down. So this little line right here is your cutting line. Up here, you don't have to be as careful because all the guts are lower, but you want to have your fingers in there just pulling the skin away from the guts because you do not want to cut into the guts. And you really, once you get to about right here, you can almost put your knife down and just start pulling. That way you can ensure that you don't cut into the guts. And you can see they'll just kind of slowly start falling out, which is great because as they fall out, you can just pull them out and let them drop right into the bucket there. This is a urine sack. And what I do is I like to grab it up here and get that piece of manure and just pull down on it. So next, there's the liver. You can actually, if you want to eat the liver, you can keep that. So you want to pull it out. And if you've ever butchered chickens before, they have the same bile sac. You just need to get in here is and it, pull it out. Is the bile sac as tough as it is on? It is more as tough. Weak as no, it is, is more chickens? tough on rabbits than it is on chickens. So you don't have to be as gentle. So then if you want to keep the liver, Put it in your cool water. Come back to this. And then once the stomach guts are out, you got the kidneys you need to pull out. After those are out, you'll see a little slit in, and this is the chest cavity. You open that up with your fingers and this is where the heart and lungs are. So you just reach in there. They're very easy to pull out. Heart and lungs are out. And that's done with that. So the last thing I do is I cut up through the pelvis bone here with my knife. And what I can do now is I can open it and any manure I didn't get, I can make sure none gets in the meat and just pull it out. So lastly, once all that's done, that's what you're left with. And you just need to disconnect the the knuckle here on the leg so you just cut around like you did with the front legs and you can see how the leg let loose after you cut the the uh, tendon keep going around and then we'll come over here and we'll do the same with the other one okay then you just grab the leg and you can hear it pop on one side and then you just pull and it comes apart right at the knuckle. Make sure you have a hold of the rabbit when you do this. You don't want it to drop on the ground. So there you go, pull on that one. Done. Now you can get all this extra hide off here. And then you wash it. Just want to make sure you get any blood, anything out of it. Now, once you think you got it clean enough, you take it and you put it in your cool water. And what I do is I usually leave them in the cool water for about 30 minutes. If you put them straight into ice water, and they cool too quickly, the meat will be tough when you cook it. So it's very important to cool it slowly. So you wanna start with the cool water and after about 30 minutes, and this is just well temperature water, you move it to an ice bath. And there it'll sit there for another 30 minutes and then you can package it and freeze it.